Bedlam's early this year. Number five and number 11 going at it with Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. These are the two teams that we all anticipated being in play uh, for the duration of the season in the Big 12. How do you see this one playing out? So believe it or not, Oklahoma's offense has been even better this year without Samaj P. Ryan, without D.D. Westbrook, without Joe Mixon. They're averaging more yards per play, more yards per pass attempt, more yards per rush. I mean, across the board, they've just been a better team. Scoring is pretty much on par with where it was last season. This Sooners team is really, really good and playing good football now. The Iowa State loss, while at the time was extremely perplexing, I mean, the Cyclones were like 30-point underdogs in that game. If you were to recalibrate the line now in that game, you, that game would be probably a touchdown. Iowa State is legit, and I think that that loss, all of a sudden, I don't really hold that uh, too much against Oklahoma. Meanwhile, Oklahoma State, offense has not looked as dominant as it did in September. They've kind of hit a little bit of a, of a slow patch here. I mean, a couple weeks ago against Texas, they only scored 13 points in an overtime game. I think Oklahoma – goes into Stillwater and wins. And I'm actually starting to believe the Sooners may run the table throughout the rest of the Big 12 schedule. I've said all along that I thought that there's going to be a chaos in the Big 12. There's going to be a two, maybe even a three-loss champion. That's still possible. But I think that I'm, I'm starting to buy Oklahoma as the best team in that conference because the offense has actually proven uh, that they didn't lose a step. And if anything, they've gotten even better since losing all of those star guys to the NFL uh, at last April. It's likely, if not a sure thing, I'm not positive about this, but that we, we will uh, definitely see a two-loss team in the Big 12 championship game. I think that's how the schedule sets up. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, we already have a few in play with Iowa State in particular, TCU, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State with one loss each. We've got Bedlam coming up on Saturday.